Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm reviewing a really cool Cyber Hobby exclusive dragon figure, one that I've been after for quite a while. This is Georg Kretzinger. He's from Hagenau Forest, 1945. So let's take a look at the box here. There's a great picture of the figure. As you can see, he's really unique. I've never seen another figure like this which is why I really wanted to get him. He's got an ultra detail head sculpt, which is uh, most of the cyber hobbies have the ultra detail head sculpts. Inside, we've got the little card that says number 85. You can see I did leave his canteen in there. I need to replace that actually. The little pin that snaps it onto the bread basket was broken, unfortunately. So that's why that's in there. And this was made in 2006. So a great looking box. Really love the picture of the figure. And let's take out the figure now. All right guys, here he is. This is a beautiful figure. Very, very unique. I just love the way he looks. He's got very, um, unique equipment and overall uh, everything fit on very nicely I didn't have any issues besides the canteen I didn't have any issues with this figure so a great uh, quality figure here all right well as for weapons this figure comes with a flare gun, which is quite a unique accessory. There aren't a lot of uh, figures that come with these flare guns. He holds it okay. These gloved hands can be a pain. They don't always pose very well with weapons, but that looks pretty good like that. So let me take that out of his hand very carefully. These gloved hands are notorious for breaking, so I gotta be really careful with those. Okay, well here is the flare gun. And what's even more unique about this, as you can see, there is a grenade attached to it. At least I'm assuming that's a grenade. And I believe this is the only figure that comes with something like this, at least that I've seen. So that is a really cool accessory. And the flare gun, you can pop that open. There is a flare inside. So I really love this weapon. That's a great, great accessory to have. As for his other weapon, you can see over his shoulder is a PPSH, which is quite an interesting weapon if you think about it. This is a Russian, a Russian weapon. And I'm assuming since this is the end of the war that the Germans were running out of equipment, which is why this guy has a PPSH in France of all places. But anyway, this is really cool. Once again, this makes the figure even more unique, I think. So the clip, or the magazine, comes out, of course. Got a pretty nice sling on there. And let me attempt to put it in his hands without breaking something here. There we go. All right, that looks really cool. All right, next let's take a look at the helmet and the head sculpt. This fits very nicely onto his head and it is metal. And I love the winter camouflage painted on there. That looks really nice, great detailing.
And here's the head sculpt, which is also very impressive. I like the hair a lot. It's nicely detailed. Very nice. As for equipment, it comes with a fair amount of stuff here. He's got binoculars. On his belt, he's got pouches here with two extra, actually just one extra magazine for the PPSH. And then the back, we've got his mess tin and the bread basket and where the canteen should have been. I'll have to get that replaced at some point. And then I love this um, this PDOT camouflage jacket he has. This is really nice and it fits great onto the figure. It's got a nice hood on there. And then they also provide you with this white scarf. Let me um, unbutton it a little bit so you can see inside. So there's the scarf. And then his uniform underneath. Just a gray uh, tunic and then they also provide you with the epaulets there that you have to put on yourself. As I said earlier, he comes with the gloved hands, which are okay. They have a lot of issues usually, so you gotta be very careful not to snap those off, especially the trigger hand. And then his pants are really nice, these snow pants. You can see some great detailing on here, a lot of dirt, and they got some like greenish hues here. Really nicely detailed, especially at the bottom here, all the dirt, that looks great. And then the boots. All right guys, well that's everything to show for this figure. As you can see, this is a really nice one. Um, I would highly recommend getting this Cyber Hobby German figure. He's really nice. Um, so if you do happen to come across them at any point, I would recommend just going ahead and buying this one. He's really cool. And I paid around $130 for him on eBay, so not a bad price considering the rarity of him. Alright guys, well thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time.